guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs, and today we are remodeling the inside of my shed. We're not doing anything crazy, um, but I am gonna make it look a lot better in here. I went and picked out some paint. We got some stuff to put on the walls. So right now I have my little helper out here with me, and basically we're just going to box up everything that we can get it out and into the house and then me and my husband will come out here and do all of of course the big work but she's going to help me for right now she's pretty excited are you excited to help me uh -huh. yeah i am in. you are so before we start doing anything i'm going to give you guys um a little bit of a tour i guess there's not a whole lot to show you it's a 10 by 12 shed um but i want to give you guys like a really good before and after so um here we go so this is the view that you get when you first walk into my shed um, over here, I have some tumbler turners. Um, that one doesn't work, so it kind of just stays there for the moment, but I'll be getting rid of it today. Um, this is my cup turner from Bama Cups. It's full at the moment. Then over here, um, this is why I wanted to redo the shed, not only for looks, but for storage. These are just empty boxes that we're going to be using um, to pack some stuff up. But this is my epoxy table where I do all of my epoxying and I do some glittering stuff over here too. But this is a box full of glitter. That's a box full of epoxy. Um, just some empty tumbler boxes that I just don't really have any room for. And then the further you get over here, um, this is a whole shelf full of either finished tumblers and glitters and some spray paints that I commonly use, acrylic paints. That's a box full of glitter. Um, really just everything is in boxes right now because I don't have a lot of storage space. So over here, let me get around her. Um, there's some more storage under there, another small storage tote, um, my regular inkjet printer, my Cricut, um, just some odds and ends stuff, um, another heater and air, and air conditioner. Underneath of this table, there are boxes full of glitters and vinyls and stuff that I just don't have anywhere else to put. This is a tote full of spray paints. Um, these are tumblers. So yeah, a lot of stuff in boxes right now. Um, I'm hoping after today that's going to change. So are you ready to help me? <laughs> ready to get to work? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so my little helper ditched me. She decided to play outside instead. Um, so I have most of everything out of here. My husband's got to come out here and help me with the tables. And he's got some tools under this table. This is super heavy. This shelf right here. Got to help get help with that. And um, then it will be time for all of the fun stuff. number two we had to go get some more supplies because we forgot some stuff but i'll show you what we've done so far it's nothing fancy but it's going to look really good when we're done with it <laughs> that's my husband he's been <laughs> helping 
Um, so we got some pegboard down here, paneling up here. We have to do some more insulation because it stays pretty hot or cold in here depending on the season. So now that we have everything we need, we're gonna get back to work and get this finished. All right, you guys, day three. This is all me in here today. It is gonna be painting. I primed everything last night um, before bed. It was a late night. Um, so now, obviously, the primer is all dry, ready for paint. I had to see how that purple would look. So now you guys know, sneak peek, that's what color um, the accent walls are gonna be. So this is my plan, okay? The purple, like the whole arch here, purple, right? Um, I want to paint all of the exposed wood purple as well. And then I have, for the rest of everything, this really extremely light gray. And I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm excited about it. Um, I have some little cutesy things to put in here to kind of cover up the uh, imperfections. Because guys, this shed... And I feel bad because my husband worked his butt off the last two days in here. But this shed is not made to be finished, really. Um, this, is a, this is a tool shed. I mean, that's all this is. This is a tool shed. And I have been trying to turn it into something that it's really not capable of being. But we're going to work with it. Um, this wall here behind me. Um, you guys don't ever see that when I'm filming anyway, so it's not going to matter for the time being, but I was going to do all of that pegboard as well, so I could just have like a ton of storage, because this is a 10 by 12. I mean, there's not a lot of room in here at all. Um, so I was going to do that, but last minute I decided I want a window, because we have a gorgeous backyard, and there are horses on the other side of the fence. In our backyard so um, I want a window so I'm gonna have my husband cut out um, a place for a window frame it all that good stuff and in the summertime I can put like a really small um, air conditioner in there but I don't think I'm gonna need it really because ever since we have done all of this um, like it's, it's pretty warm outside right now this has held temperature so much better so much better you guys so, um, yeah, I'm going to get to work.
I am exhausted. I just put the flooring down in here. We decided, and you're going to think I'm crazy, I'm sure. But, quicker, easier, cheaper, <laughs> and um, all that stuff. I put a rug in here. It is a little bit too big, but it goes wall to wall this way really good. It's just a little long this way, but it's up under my desk. Um, but yeah, so I have a little rug in here. I need swept. Um, I got it a little dirty, but look how cute. It does not look like the shed that it used to. And I'm happy with that. Um, it's, it's definitely more visually appealing. <laughs> than it was um I'm really excited so now for my shelving um to store all of my glitter instead of having it in boxes around the floors and everywhere I have 30 feet worth of gutters and I'm going to cut them into um long enough sections that I can fit them in here on the wall and that's where I'm going to store the glitter guys now it's the end of day three I am absolutely exhausted my back is killing me oh my gosh and this is such a tiny little shed but it looks so much better I have some more stuff coming in tomorrow to fill in gaps but tomorrow when everything's gonna be here it will for sure be done then so one more day all right you guys it is the fourth and final day I got some really cute things in the mail from Amazon and I'm gonna hang them up now but just sitting out here it's like it's like this big relief I mean even looking in the camera and I know that's not cosmetically perfect of course but just to see this it's just like oh, I can breathe so a couple things that I got from Amazon um, I got this like leaf garland there's like there's 86 feet here there's 12 strands um, so I plan to kind of like cover this maybe with that hang it right there and I got this on Amazon too it's a light up letter C um, I'm gonna hang it either right here or right here I think I'll do it over here and then the super cute sign says she shed I'm gonna put it right there and then if you can barely see right here I actually got these at Menards which is the same place that I got all of my material and my paint and everything these purple light up little balls um I have them over here I just have them like setting right there I haven't put any um batteries in them yet or anything which is cool that they're battery operated um uh, because I don't have any more outlet space in here so now I am going to get this stuff hung up and it'll be complete Okay, so I have one strand up there right now. I'm gonna like bundle a bunch of them, like maybe like five, because I didn't realize they were so like skinny, almost bare. <laughs> um, but also, I'm having to use a hot glue gun because there's no like studs behind that right there. And so I really don't have anything to like put in a nail and like wrap a piece of vine around and go that way. That was my plan. Um, but you know, plans don't always happen. So we move forward. It is officially done. 
let me give you a new updated tour. So um, I was going to put pegboard right here and have more storage, but I decided I want a window because I have a really nice pretty view out in the back. So I'm going to get a small window um, at some point, but not worried about that right now. But now over here is my glitter wall. This is um, 10 foot gutter cut up into pieces. This is all of the glitter I own, which I realized was way too much. <laughs> Um, I had to take this little basket and put some extra glitters in there. There's some acrylic paints, um, all of that good stuff. Right here, this is my shipping shelf. That's my packing tape, um, some uh, tissue paper, ribbon that I put around. There's some bubble wrap, um, thank you stickers, and some empty boxes that ship tumblers will go in. This is my finished tumbler wall. There are several there. A lot of it's sublimation. Um, a lot of it's epoxy. It's really just a mix of everything. And then I have these super cute little light up bulbs to go with it. So I've got that. Um, my stuff that I had from before, like the little storage um, little compartments. There's some extra bubble wrap. I did still have to put some stuff under the table, but I felt like that was kind of inevitable but there's definitely not as much as there was i painted the desk so some of the stuff you know the alcohol ink and stuff showed through but looks a lot better than it did um there's some more gutter around the wall here with some stuff in here like sanding blocks um double-sided sticky tape my vacuum glue guns um there's some mod podge there weekly planner thank you cards extra printer ink there's my printer, my tripod for my camera, my Cricut, um, my favorite snacks ever. I've got to keep those out here. Some more gutters with just some more storage stuff. Um, a whiteboard for um, orders and stuff. Right now, I have this up here. That's the first tumbler I ever made. Right there. I have that out here. <laughs> but soon there will be another Bama Cup Turner, which will be going across here. So I will have to make some room for that stuff here. Over here is going to be the epoxy slash glitter table. Um, here's, there's epoxy in here. There's epoxy in here. There's some tumblers in here. Here's some molds. I do want to get a tablecloth, maybe like a white one or a purple one, something like that. There's some extra stuff of the leaves. I got to get rid of that. But here's some tumblers that a couple members of my Patreon group made for me. Here's some tumblers, some shipping boxes, sublimation, stainless steel, trash can over here. And this is what you are going to see when I am filming. So you'll get a nice view of that. I know it's not perfect, but guys, I am so, so happy. So needless to say, we have worked really, really hard on here the past four days. Um, I love it. I feel so much more comfortable in here. And I was super, super grateful to have a shed in the first place. Um, but the more my YouTube channel grew and the more my business itself is growing, I just really wanted something a little different on the inside. So huge thank you to my husband. I love him with all of my heart and soul. He has just done everything he could to make me happy. And I love it so, so much. Um, like I said, this was a tool shed. It was not meant to be finished, but it is finished to me. So I really love it. For those of you who have been her here for a while and, you know, you've seen my shed the way it was before and you've stuck around and you've watched all my videos and you just supported me, just thank you so much. It really means the world to me. And let me go, guys, what you think about this shed, um, how it's finished. I just... I was going to get a bigger shed. I really was. I was I was wanting something bigger, but I don't think I need one now. <laughs> so guys, before I go, like always, I have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. That was said by Walt Disney. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate and love all of you. I hope you guys have the best day. If you guys have any questions at all um, about what I used, or more of like what we did, anything like that, just feel free to drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye.